everyone it's Kiri here for Hip Kit Club with my latest layout and for this one I am creating with the April 2024 main kit only so I've pulled out a couple of the pattern papers and I've got the um, chipboard frames from the chipboard die cut set and I just love the the bright colors I've got some photos there that um that would literally from the other day I've been into London with my lovely friend Wendy and we had gone to see the beautiful flower displays in um, Chelsea and Belgravia that are uh, put on during the Chelsea Flower Show week and um, the weather had been pretty awful earlier in the week and I was like oh, I'm not sure I'm going to go it's now I don't know it's not going to be worth it it'll be horrible it was raining and what have you anyway literally Thursday night we just said yep yeah, shall we do it let's go and the Friday and it was lovely and we were really lucky weather was glorious and we had a wonderful time wandering around and just admiring all the fabulous flower displays so I have a few photos I am sure I will obviously scrapbook more of them because I've used quite small photos but my idea was to just use the photos in the chipboard frames and create a sort of cascading design now I've pulled the two pattern papers out here and I have that lovely here we go zigzag paper it's called be bold and I cut out five of the different zigzag strips and then distressed all of the edges and then layered them down over each other just to create a sort of a small background behind my chipboard frames and then I took that fabulous floral paper it's called so tenacious and I fussy cut out a load of the flowers and that's what I really love about floral papers you really can get a lot extra, a lot extra from a pattern paper when you, you look at them because I do love a bit of fussy cutting and I do love flowers they're great for clusters you know embellishment clusters on your layouts so a pattern paper pattern floral paper is great for getting extra embellishments if you like so fussy cut out a load of the flowers and the leaves and then and I, my idea, like I said, was to create this sort of cascading design. So I'm just sort of layering them up here and I'm just sort of building up the clusters and I'm bringing in some of the chipboard shapes as well from the chipboard die cut set. Um, just and then I'm just adding I'm um, gluing the flowers down center only as I always do just so I still get that sort of lift and dimension from the petals um, when I stick them down so that one I'm just I'm adding some on foam pads but generally most of them are stuck flat to the background but of course you know with the leaves all lifting up so I've got the little chipboard piece there and that says hello friend on it which worked perfectly because I'm obviously with um with um one of my lovely friends um so we've stopped here there's a photo of us there um uh, for a little drink chilled right in the heart of um, or stone square just sort of people watching so it was really really lovely and then there's a couple of displays there probably slightly hard to see because they are quite small but one of them is the hungry caterpillar and the other is actually winnie the pooh at the bottom so and they're all made from flowers and you know yeah greenery yeah they were fabulous so um yeah so again bringing the cluster down here i have another chipboard piece here that says seriously sweet um and just building them in around those photos and then I'll bring in another flower cluster to the bottom as well um yeah and then that gives me that sort of cascading feel down the page and I did really want to add lots of flowers so the having the floral paper was a real bonus because obviously my photos are about flower displays so I really wanted to sort of emphasize that by using lots of flowers um, and then I've got another chipboard piece here and this says so amazing um, which really was well, they were amazing actually some of the space were fantastic um, okay so I'm still going on here just figuring out these um, this one here trimming off some so I can tuck them in underneath and um, yeah so anyway so we'll keep I'll keep sticking but just as a reminder for those of you who may be not a subscriber to the Hip Kit Club do pop on over to the website hipkitclub.net and you can find all the details about subscribing to their fabulous exclusive kits so remember all of the um, products in the kit are totally exclusive to the Hip Kit Club um, and once you subscribe you'll subscribe to the main kit each month which is obviously this one this is the one I'm working with though I didn't use everything out of the main kit there are plenty more pattern papers and there are there are other embellishments as well um 
but you'll also get extra member membership benefits. Um, you'll get free access to hundreds of cut files um, and you'll get free member exclusive cut files as well that come up. So that's really cool. And then you can purchase any of the additional kits for and you'll get a 15% discount and they'll ship for free with the main kit. And there are some fabulous extra kits, of course, um, that um, that coordinate beautifully with the main kit that I'm working with here. OK, so. Right. Where am I now? OK, I'm adding a few more chipboard pieces there. OK, yes, I've got the little hearts in. And now I'm just um, looking at what else I've got. Oh, I had a few tiny pieces of the fabric borders and they came with the kit, main kit too. And I was wondering whether to add them, but I just I wasn't sure. I felt like I had all the flowers and I just I didn't know if it worked or not. They sort of looked OK, but I wasn't completely sure. So they don't go on. And then I have brought in the enamel shapes and I'm just sort of playing around here. There's the little flower ones and then I also use the, the dot ones. And I'm just sort of fiddling around and as per usual, I spend a lot of time moving them around, playing about with where they're going to go and what have you. But anyway, I, I'm sort of nearly there. And then, yeah, and then I think, um, what's next? Oh, yeah, adding a title and you get a, it's a really pretty sort of periwinkle blue alpha that comes with the main kit. And I will add that in just a moment. My title will be blooming, lovely. So there we go. Oh, there we go. It's coming on now. And then um, that was almost, I think, pretty much done. Oh, the only thing I did off camera, actually, I did decide to add some white paint splatters just over my clusters, which, I, as I say, I do off camera. You will see that in the close-up images that are coming in just a moment. There we go. Here is the final layout and here are some of the close ups um, and you can see all those fabulous um, elements that come in the hip kit main kit for April 2024. And I hope you've enjoyed watching the process video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in my next video. Bye for now.